Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. We continue to recognize Pride Month and how some members of the LGBTQ plus community face challenges to accessing appropriate and affordable care. Now in this week's Healthier Together, Dieter Johnson shows us how the William Temple House in Portland is removing barriers to make sure their services are available for everyone. For years, Reed Vanderberg faced anxiety and depression. When I started transition, I realized who I was finally in 1995, and I was 40 years old. I'd been in deep denial for a long time, living in lesbian community, and I was very confused about who I was. He says one therapist didn't understand what he was going through and actually hurt his recovery. And that set me back in my process of self-exploration, because if a therapist doesn't believe me, and I already don't know who I am, and they're supposed to know because they're the professional, then that can't be it. Reed says he finally found a therapist that understood trans issues and gave him the tools to figure out who he was. That's one reason he's now a board member and does trainings for the William Temple House in Northwest Portland. They were one of the first agencies here to contact me, realizing, okay, there's this whole population that isn't just underserved, but is unserved. The William Temple House helps to remove barriers of care from members of the LGBTQ plus community by offering different services. In 2023, the William Temple House served 5,387 clients. Most of them got food assistance. Hundreds of them got connected to resources like SNAP and mental health treatments. Others got help with utility bills. In Oregon, um, in Portland, what we see is that on mental health services are very much in demand. Um, so in other words, we have this disproportionate uh, range of, of mental health services and providers. For counseling services, clients pay what they can't afford. The William Temple House also employs many counselors that are part of the LGBTQ plus community. Our entire um, culture in the counseling center is really um, stepping into um, a more diverse um, and a more inclusive uh, counseling. The nonprofit also provides social services such as a food pantry. People can get the groceries they need without worrying about how they'll be treated. To create an atmosphere that's welcoming and affirming, so we do not tolerate any kind of harassment or um, discrimination of any kind. It's one reason why members of the LGBTQ plus community and others appreciate the nonprofit and how it gives back. And we believe strongly that everyone that comes through the doors should be affirmed, no matter what they look like, no matter what identities they present. Deidre Johnson, KGW News. And if you need help with food, counseling, clothing, or household items, you can contact the William Temple House at 503-226-3021. You can also donate to the William Temple House and help them continue to serve the community. For find, to find out more information, you can go to williamtemple.org. And you can see all of our Healthier Together stories right now at kgw.com forward slash healthier together.